lot of smoke. No wonder. It needs to get rid of the heat somehow. Nothing serious. As long as the vehicle is not on fire, no reason to panic, Signorita. How long will it take? What? The repairs. Well, you know, if it was a good car... It wouldn't have broken in the first place, I know. What I mean to say is, if it was a good Spanish car, I would have the spare parts right here. Oh, so you say. So, what exactly happened? I don't know yet. Perhaps the cooler broke down. But you will repair it today. I don't think so. It can take a few days. What a piece of trash they had for rental. I'm surprised you managed to get this far. Should I leave the car keys? Of course. What do you think? All right. Here you go. This town seems a bit empty. Have you traveled far to get here? I came from Paris. So many kilometers to end up in such a crap hole? I deal in ancient books. Why, you should have told me you were looking for the antiquarian. Where can I find him? Nearby at the marketplace. Everything is nearby here. Have you got any tourist attractions around here? Lots of them. All of them old ruins. You like old ruins, Signorita? You mean like that castle on the hill? No, I meant the citizens of this town. I'm gonna take a look around town. I'll be back soon. No need to rush. These repairs will take me a while. A car lift. Lots of useful and useless stuff. Quite usual for a workshop. for? What do I need the wheel for? A pit with rats. Nicole, think. I think this tube needs fixing. I don't need it right now. Some tires on a rack. This seems like a ghost town. Smells of old books, but there are no moths. Mr. Antoine Surian? That's correct, young lady. My name is Nicole Bonnet. I'm American. I have some business contacts with antiquarians from New York. Have any of them recommended my services? I'm not a client. This has nothing to do with your business. Would you care to join me for a glass of wine from my vineyard? I'd love to, but a bit later, perhaps. All right. Let's get straight to the point. What is this about? Your life is in danger. <laughs> it's quite obvious when you've turned 70. It's not about your age. Someone wants to murder you. Unbelievable. What's going through your heads, young people? Let me start from the beginning. I think that'd be best. I work for the government of the United States. I came here to investigate the case of a serial killer who's moved from the States to Europe. The 
this some kind of candid camera TV show? No. The French and American police are both working hard on this case. But what have I got to do with all of this? The murderer chose you to be the next victim. <sighs> Me? Why? We don't know. Do you know a Mark Tain? I don't recall. Who is it? The murderer pretends to be him. I don't understand any of this. I've never had many enemies. A few clients have had some complaints, but never to such an extent. The killer isn't driven by personal grudges. So why is he murdering people? He bears a grudge against the entire world. Fate. His own past. Yes, I've read about this. The victims are essentially irrelevant. But they match the scheme the murderer creates, and they're chosen very carefully. But why me? This is ridiculous. You can't reason with the murderer. Uh, what I mean is that you must have falsely judged the situation. I was at the murderer's apartment, but he managed to get away. But I'm sure that he chooses his victims using this bizarre formula, and that you are his current target. What formula? I don't know. But for every victim, he reconstructs a family tree dating back to the French Revolution. This makes me think of... I guess this is irrelevant, but can you give me the victims' names? Lou Crespian, Marie Parker, Jean Murphy, Gilbert Marmontel, Elizabeth Soupol, René Fourier. I have some photos of notes and genealogical research done by the murderer. Uh, unfortunately, I can't see very well, and I'd, I'd really like to take a closer look at this. Do you have a computer? Uh, I am very old-fashioned. No, I don't. How about I print them out? Uh, that's a very good idea. In the meantime, I'll go through my archives to find a certain list. I'll go print the photos. You can do that in the shop. I'm waiting anxiously for your return. Whether it's raining or not, one has to be prepared. Do not touch that, please. Nothing like a melee weapon. Do not touch that, please. a seamstress who used such scissors for... Hang on. I wasn't supposed to go back to this anymore. Hmm. Judging by the scratches on the floor, someone must have moved the safe. Better not touch this. The antique dealer may be upset. The door is locked. Bull, a timeless subject for Spanish artists. You know, Altamira, Goya, Picasso. Better not touch this. The antique dealer may be upset.
shop is closed. I think that's a collector's coin. The water looks somewhat stale. to develop the photos. The shop's closed. The owner must be in the garage. Thanks. I'll go look for him there. I'm sure he'll be there. rode this car to death. How are the repairs going? As well as they can. Meaning? I did call for the parts. Will they be here today? You'll have to wait. It'll be a few days. Is it a problem to deliver car parts? Is your car Spanish? I've been told I can meet the owner of the shop at the square here. That's right. When will he be here? He's already here. So, it must be you, right? You would want a hell of a detective. Detective? Nah, it's just female intuition. I'd like you to develop some photos from a digital camera. No problem. Tomorrow morning? I need them now. I don't want to leave my work. I thought there weren't any parts. I figured I'd take the car apart and then put it back together again. You know, as an exercise. You'd better not. After you've put it together, you'll be left with several parts you have no idea what to do with. What do you mean? You'll have spare parts. Please, can you develop those photos for me now? Does everything have to be for tomorrow? I can see that with you everything has to be for yesterday. Let's compromise and have it done for today. I appear to have no choice. The entire town is shaken up ever since you came here. At least it's not boring, right? 
Maybe I like being bored. I'll come by at a later time. I'll go look for him there. I'm sure he'll be there. ready yet? They are. They always were. They've been waiting for you here, only you came late. I had so much to do. I was waking this town up from its lethargic state. How much do I owe you? 68 euros. Can you add it to the bill for my car? Oh, no, no, no. We could have done it tomorrow, but no. You had to go and be stubborn. All right. I'll be back in a moment and pay you. I'll come by at a later time. I wonder if this machine could let me make some money for the trip back. I guess that if I put two euros in, the machine would come to life. I guess that if I put two euros in, the machine would come to life.
Money does not grant happiness, but it is useful in trying to find it. Maybe one day I'll visit the country this coin is from. Euros. I'll come by at a later time. Trial and error, they say. Take this coin. I guess that if I put two euros in, the machine would come to life. I guess that if I put two euros in, the machine would come to life. Money won in the slot machine. Regular merchandise, a bit of this and that. A guitar, can a mechanic be a flamenco master? Nice pottery. I wonder if it's for sale. Here's the cash. Where were you for so long? Just had to step out to rob a bank. There's no bank around here. That's why it took so long. Never mind. Here are your pictures. To be honest, I thought they'd be more interesting. What? Like snapshots from a beach volleyball match? 
What a nice shop you got here. You really think so? Is the business good here? As you can see, there aren't many people around. Not at all? Well, only once a year when those weirdos come to the castle. Weirdos? Yeah, kids playing dress-up. They listen to that, uh, what do you call it, goth music. When they come here, I can't manage without some help. You have a cashier? I did, but she left out of boredom. Would you like to earn a few euros? Sorry, I'm busy as it is. Well, maybe it's for the best. I have a feeling you'd turn everything upside down. Thank you, and see you soon. There's no rush. Regular merchandise. A bit of this and that. This looks even more graphic on the printout. Here are the photos. Yes. Incredible. It's precisely what I thought it was. Happy to hear that. But what exactly did you discover? I have them on the list. I can see the same names here as on this old document. the danger now. Yes, but what about the motive? Revenge after 200 years? That's insane. I'm not ruling out insanity. One way or another, serial killers are deeply disturbed people. But this is not the Corsican vendetta. Could the motive be money? The aristocrats offered a fortune for their liberty, but as far as I know, none of the people involved got to see the money. In all likelihood, hidden in the catacombs in Paris. But that doesn't explain these murders. I'll drive you to France and leave you under the care of their police. You're not safe here. I could ask the local police for help. They're not familiar with the case, and we really don't have time to convince them. Is it this dangerous? I'm afraid so. I can't just leave like that. There's one more thing I have to take care of. What is it? My grandson. He left his motorcycle with me. He likes to ride around our mountain paths. Surely that must count as an extreme sport. <sighs> I'm afraid so. He did have a crash, but he wasn't hurt. Oh, that's good. But we had to ask Raoul, the mechanic, for help. And your grandson left you with it? You don't expect your grandson to come visit anytime soon? No. Now that I think of it, he might also be in danger from the killer. Not right now, I'm sure, but still, where is he now? Oh, he went off surfing in Australia for a month. You can rest assured he's safe then. 
Now that's a relief. He's such a nice and talented young man. What does he do? Something with computers. I'm not exactly sure what. And he didn't manage to convince you to trust this new technology? <laughs> you know, he actually likes it here now. Says coming here is like going to rehab. Where's your grandson's motorcycle? In the garden. They're behind the house. I'll be back shortly. Go pack your things. Please be careful. I will. locked. Perhaps the antique dealer has the key. The garden door is locked. Yes, I always lock it. Can I have the key, please? Hang on. Uh, somewhere here. Uh, I remember I was reading... A la recherche du temps perdu. The Proust always draws me in. Oh, I'm going senile. You're just absent-minded. Uh, no, unfortunately, I, I'm sclerotic. If it weren't for my young bull, I, I'd never manage. I'll be back shortly. Go pack your things. Please be careful. I will. What's with this young bull? Is he starting to talk nonsense? Better not touch this. The antique dealer may be upset. The bull timeless subject for Spanish artists. You know, Altamira, Goya, Picasso. Better not touch this. The antique dealer may be upset. I like this revolving chair. I wonder what you can do with it. Better not touch this. The antique dealer may be upset. The door is locked. Perhaps the antique dealer has the key. Better not touch this. The antique dealer may be upset. Better not touch this. The antique dealer may be upset. Better not touch this. The antique dealer may be upset. He said that he was reading A la Recherche du Temps Perdu. He managed to get quite a library here. 
some unique books as well. There's no key here. I'm looking for. The door is locked. Good thing the key didn't get stuck in the lock. Is that a piece of rubber used as a tile? I can't reach that high. The wheel is missing. The motorcycle is on the ground. It's pretty cool. I had one just like it, but nothing beats Harley Davidson. I don't think that it's the best idea. Metal motorcycle cap. I'll put the cap on when the wheel is in the right place. I don't think that it's the best idea. I don't think that it's the best idea. motorcycle is missing a wheel. That's the wheel that was meant to be fixed. Do you know if it's ready yet? I'm sure it is. It's been a while. I'm going. I'll be back with the wheel repaired. My grandson will be pleased. You can start packing now. I'll be ready in a flash.
me again. I told you already the parts will be here in a few days. I know. This isn't what I'm here for. No? What do you want then? To ask me out to a disco? Nowadays, people go clubbing. Doesn't matter. Here, there's no place to do either. I'm here for the wheel. What wheel? For the motorcycle. The antiquarian asked you to repair it. He didn't say it was urgent. It is urgent now. No way. I can't be doing three things at the same time. Three? Fixing your car, printing out the photos, and now the wheel. But you already printed out the photos. Yeah, it might look simple to you, but I have to do a recap of this job, analyze it, check its profitability. You're quite the manager. Maybe I should file a subsidy request. What's that? Long story. Anyways, as to the wheel, I don't have any fixing kits anymore. Let me guess. We have to wait a few days until new ones arrive. The rim is bent. It doesn't hold the air. I'm sure you can handle that. I told you I have plenty of work. Unless you want to help. Sure. What do you want me to do? The rim is so bent that you have to put a tube on. Take one from the shelf and see if it's not punctured. Also, bring me the wheel and the tire iron. I'll come by at a later time. Lots of useful and useless stuff. Quite usual for a workshop. I have to do something with this wheel. It's completely useless. I have to do something with this wheel. It's completely useless. Trial and error, they say. A tool which is no longer often used. This won't work. A tool which is no longer often used. Tires on a rack. I think this tube needs fixing. I think this tube needs fixing. an alternative solution. We need an alternative solution. Nicole, think. The motorcycle wheel. That's right. I'll come by at a later time. I found the tire iron. Hand it to me. 
I'll come by at a later time. I'll come by at a later time. Is that a piece of rubber used as a tile? I don't think that it's the best I don't think that it's the best idea Is that a piece of rubber used as a tile? Nicole, think. No can do. Better not touch this. The antique dealer may be upset. Whether it's raining or not, one has to be prepared. Better not touch this. The antique dealer may be upset. Copies of a Copies of a Copies Copies of a Lumin A good felt tip pen for A good felt tip pen for writing on all surfaces Copies of illuminated Copies of illuminated manuscripts. Copies of illuminated manuscripts. These items don't match. We need an alternative solution. Copies of illuminated manuscripts. 
the photos I had developed. I marked the place the air's escaping from. All right, but I don't have any patches. Do you know what I need? A piece of rubber to glue over the hole? Precisely. You don't have anything like that around here? What am I running here, a vulcanization service? I'll come by at a later time. Pit with rats. Some tires on a rack. I almost rode this car to death. Could I borrow your umbrella for a moment? Is it going to rain? No, I'm going to need a pole. Well, you won't vault high on this pole, but take it. I'll be back shortly. Go pack your things. Please be careful. I will. Thank <laughs> you. 
Big piece of raw rubber. Trial and error, they say. I've got a patch. Isn't that too big? You'll have some left over for the next time. Who uses tubes anymore? Cyclists? Cut it to size. I don't have time to do things like that. He really is a manager at heart. I'll come by at a later time. Nicole, think. How's that? Now is perfect. Will you fix that wheel now? Wheel? Oh, right, sure. Just wait a moment. Did you fix the wheel? Well... And now? Will you stop nagging me? You're so impatient. Are you done yet? Just a minute. I'm really in a hurry. Haste makes waste, young lady. I'm getting anxious. Mm. I gotta go. I'll be back in a second. I just finished. Here, the wheel's as good as new. Ah, oh, thank you. Who's going to pay me, you or the antiquarian? I'll ask him not to forget to drop it in here before he leaves. He's leaving? Yeah, he mentioned something like that. What, on this bike? No, I'm going to give him a lift in my car. I wouldn't use the car till it's repaired, you know. Really, otherwise it'll just die in you the first time you want to go uphill. I'll think about it. Even that motorcycle of his grandson's is better. Goodbye. Like I said, better take the motorcycle. The wheel is fixed. Now I just have to pump it full. Nicole, think. motorcycle wheel.